people looking ahead to the weekend, and if they've got outdoor plans, maybe you're going to run a marathon. Or a party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's it looking, Natasha? Couch potatoes, surfing the couch, whatever it is. Yeah, you know, yeah. sometimes you want to be on the couch, but it's nice to look outside and be like, that weather out there is good, right. not what's on TV. But I encourage you, <laughs> ser yeah, ex just watch the news, but seriously, <laughs> get outside this weekend. It's not going to be, you know, we're getting into that season where we could have a lot of rainy days coming up, and at least for this weekend, temperatures in the low 70s. Partly cloudy skies, it really just doesn't get any better than that. How about your temperature right now in Portland? 56, low 50s expected tonight. Through tomorrow morning, we'll be in the upper 40s. Some of you might run into some areas of fog. And then eventually by midday tomorrow, we start to clear things out. Look at this. Now, this looks rather impressive right here in the Gulf of Alaska. Uh, this classic looking area of low pressure. It's not just any kind of low pressure though. Uh, <laughs> reported wind gusts at Ketchikan Airport of 109 miles per hour. That's windy. That is beyond windy. Uh, and that's right there. We're not going to be a part of that. We're not going to see those kind of winds right here. Uh, some of the outflow from this, you get some high clouds in the mix through tomorrow, but otherwise, we're looking pretty good. Mountain forecast tomorrow. Temperatures in the morning are going to be in the low 30s. Daytime highs, though, in the mid to upper 50s. Both days looking pretty good. OK, over to the gorge. Temperatures this weekend, low to mid 70s with those morning temperatures just under 50. Now, if you're spending some time along the Oregon coast, uh, maybe you're going to do some razor clam digging. That'll be Sunday morning when that gets going. So Sunday morning, if you're do, if you're out and about in those early morning hours during low tide, uh, just remember, even though things are kind of calm out there, a possibility that you could run into some sneaker waves. Hence the name sneaker waves. They sneak up on you and you don't anticipate them. So keep your eyes open for that. And don't turn your back to the ocean. Low 60s expected both days. Uh, the deal with Sunday morning also, you might run into some areas of drizzle, especially along the Washington coast. But then by the afternoon, plenty of sunshine. Okay, it'll be cloudy in the morning, afternoon sunshine. This is Sunday morning. There's that possibility of drizzle right there, just north of Astoria, and heading over into the foothills. Otherwise, we're looking pretty good. Next chance to see some rain. Well, not until next Tuesday. But look at your temperatures. We go from the low 70s to the low 60s, some upper 50s too for you next week, and those overnight temperatures down into the low 40s. So that will certainly get your mm -hmm. attention and wake you up in the morning. Yep, gotta find my sweaters. <laughs> uh, still ahead, a week five.